What's up guys, Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering a uh, After Effects and Buju motion tracking and bullets in concrete tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to motion track everything and then show you how to make it look like bullets are hitting this uh, pillar here. Um, this video I got from uh, videocopilot.net. Um, you can download it from there. It's in his um, composite, or like 3D compositing tutorial um, so anyway I'm gonna use this video clip and uh, let's go ahead and get started so first thing we need to do is motion track this um, After Effects has motion tracking uh, features built in but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use Buju because that's my preferred uh, motion tracking method so anyway we can come up here to a uh, composition and hit add to render queue and then uh, I'm gonna change the output to uh, uh, where is it? JPEG sequence format options. Make sure this is all the way up for the best quality. Okay, okay. And then output, just uh, save it to whatever file you want, then hit render. Alright, I've already done this, so I'm not going to go bother rendering it. I'm just going to open uh, Buju here. Now, in Buju, we're going to go ahead and hit import sequence, and then uh, I'm already in the uh, document I need, but uh, you can always just come in here and then click user slash whatever you know your computer is and then just find the document that way so anyway I'm going to go ahead and just click at the beginning here open and um, oh another important thing to remember is the uh, frame rate the uh, frame rate on this um, is 24 frames a second so I'll go ahead and make it 24 and let's see okay so here we go now I'm going to go ahead in here, if, if you don't have this task view, then go to view and uh, let's see where is that, um, panel, task view, there we go. Alright, so yeah, go to view, panels, and then uh, task view. Anyway, so I'm going to click on the camera here and open up sequence. And uh, I'm just double checking, make sure the frame rates are correct. Um, sometimes Buju has issues and uh, doesn't or uh, doesn't set the uh, frame rate correctly, even though you've already changed it. Anyway, so now you can see we have our clip in here, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit Track Features, All Frames, Start. Um, depending on how good your computer is, will determine how long this takes. Um, my computer's pretty powerful so it shouldn't take me too long and it's done alright so as you can see we have all these tracking points and then what we're going to want to do is click on camera solve all frames and then optimize camera path smoothness um, start and then again depending on how fast your computer is alright so there we go now we have all these points in here and uh, they seem to be synced up pretty well. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we should do. I'm just going to go ahead and check the frame rate again real quick. Um, that's okay. Um, so now all we have to do is export camera solve and After Effects file. Um, start frame. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, scale scene by a thousand. That's what you want. Um, and browse, and we're just going to save this to the desktop. I'll just name it um, Tracking Cut. Save. Save. Okay. Now let's open After Effects back up, and I'll go here, Import File, go to Desktop, and where is that? Should be in here somewhere. Here we go. Tracking cut. Open. And then uh, you'll you'll see it's in a composition. So just open that up, and then drag your video on top. And uh, so now you can see we have all these points in here. They're they're set as null objects. Um, 
if you don't want all these in here, then you can just go through here and select some and delete them. It won't make a difference. Um, so anyway, now um, you're going to need um, action essentials for this, unless you have some other um, overlays you want to use. But um, I'm using action essentials too from videocopilot.net. You can go buy that from them. Um, it's really it's a really great uh, pack. All right, guys. So what I got here is I got the uh, concrete hole um, PNG from the uh, textures folder that came with the uh, action essentials pack, and I got a cork hit um, one and a couch hit one, and um, I think that's probably going to be all we need. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and take this. Um, go ahead and hit F4, or you can use this toggle switch down here, and uh, I'm going to set this to overlay. And as you can see, let's go ahead and scale this down. As you can see, it blends pretty well. So now I'm figuring uh, I'm probably going to put it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hit this eye here and just turn off the uh, truck on the uh, parking garage um, video real quick. And I'm going to select this. And now I'm just going to scroll through here real quick and find it uh, right here. So go ahead and hit P and then Control C to copy the position. Scroll back up. And then we're going to hit P on this. We can go ahead and turn on the uh, background again. And then uh, click on the position, hit Control V. And, uh, okay, the problem is F4. Okay, there we go. I forgot to um, set the concrete PNG as um, a uh, 3D object, so uh, that's why the uh, position was way up there. So go ahead and click on position again, control D, and uh, there we go. Now we just need to size this down, something like that, I think. And then. Uh, you can go ahead and mess with the rotation of it because it doesn't look quite right. And then I'm going to scale it a little bit more. There we go. I think that's pretty good. And as you can see, it stays tracked to the wall. So anyway. Um, let's see here. Uh, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to grab out this, and I'm going to hit P again. Position, or uh, let's make it 3D first. So I'm going to put the position all wacky, and then hit Control V, and uh, that's quite large. So let's go ahead and scale it down to a better size. That looks better. So what we're going to want to do is let's move this back and let's move this back. So now it scrubs along and boom, there it is. And then uh, we'll grab out this here, make it 3D, hit P to bring up the position, Control V, and um, again we'll have to scale this back down like so. and then bring it back. So let's go ahead and close this one. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do a random preview of it. So that looks um, pretty decent. Um, I probably should have picked different um, uh, I probably should have picked different video overlays. Um, I don't know that these are the uh, best to use. Um, I'm trying to remember which ones I used in the video before. I just kind of looked through my Action Essentials pack and um, test out a few before making my final decision. But I just wanted to grab out some real quick to give you guys an idea of what I did. Like I said, um, if I were you guys, I would just uh, play with it um, until you find the ones you like and um, stick with those. But, you know, this looks pretty good. 
Um, another thing you can do if you want is you can kind of mask around it and soften it. And you don't really need to do that. It's kind of optional. Because, um, you know, I don't know, it just doesn't look quite right. Um, I shouldn't have used a couch hit. Couch hit was not the right thing to use. Um, but anyway, this should give you a pretty good idea of uh, how to do this effect. And um, basically the only thing you need to do after this is just add in some sound effects. Um, I'm not going to bother showing you that because that's, that's pretty simple. I mean, it's not hard to add in some sound effects. So uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful. And uh, I'm out of here. If you have any tutorial requests, let me know. Peace, guys.